Hey there guys, I am back with more prototype. Alex still has super cancer, and we're still working on figuring out a way to cure that. So let's go and visit the good old doctor. We need a host the parasite can infest. This host will produce antibodies. These antibodies are vital for your restoration, Alex. Take this syringe, locate the correct hunter by genetic type, and inject it. If you inject it and consume it, it should cure you. Yeah, I've heard that before. Really? Someone told you to inject a syringe into a hunter to get a cure once before? I wonder when that happened. Anyway, how are we going to figure out the correct genetic type and stuff? That's complicated. This aircraft has a DNA sensor array. I can reconfigure it to find the hunter I need. Okay, now that's just a load of bullshit. Military helicopters don't have freaking DNA scanners on board. Anyway, gonna need to be stealthy. Oh crap. Well, screw the stealthy approach. Run in, kill the guy, take off, and hope things go well. Alright, smashy smashy, Captain Marcus Graves. Probably gonna tell us how to fly a helicopter. Piloting a Grey Goose is a tough job. Swinging a 25,000 pound heli down to safe touchdown on 7th Avenue? Now that is another thing altogether. Lucky I'm just that damn good. Well, then it's a good thing that we're absorbing the best the best guy's memories. Alright, get in the freaking helicopter. Oh man, the thing's on fire already. This is not going well. Although it's got a full health bar. Go on, take off. Hurry, hurry. Holy crap, the thing's decreasing fast. Go, 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 go. It's too slow. Can make it. Oh, crap. Oh, what? That's bullshit. Why couldn't I just hijack another helicopter? Or something. Okay, this time I'm going for the... Oh. Never mind then, I guess I don't need to go for the stealthy approach. Okay. Press. I think that's square. The screen's kind of tiny. Square to decrease altitude. Well, the helicopter controls aren't the most complicated thing out there. Oh, crap, watch out for the roof. Just right stick to rotate the helicopter. Okay, that's easy peasy. Ooh, weapon tests. The way we need to go to the waypoint to test the weapons. Can we just blow up one of these buildings? Never realized how full of skyscrapers New York is. Looks pretty cool. I mean... I live in one of the largest cities in my country, and we really don't have that many skyscrapers. And when we do, they're nowhere near as high as all the ones in New York. Really would love to go there someday. Who knows? Maybe someday when I get the money, or when you pay the money for me. Yeah, let's start a Kickstarter. Help General Secure get to New York. You can send money to my PayPal account if you want to contribute. So yeah, the helicopters have got missiles and machine guns. You know, standard helicopter fare. And we need to blow up some virus scanners. That's not suspicious at all. An army helicopter blowing up army virus scanners. Yeah. Anyway, no one seems to have noticed. So where do we go now? Oh yeah, now we go ahead with the DNA scanner bullshit. Alright, go south. Like the birds do every winter. There's an awful lot of birds around here though. Signal strength meter. Oh great, we're gonna have to fly around until we find a water tower that has a suitable hunter in it. And of course the thing starts out almost entirely empty. And I guess I need to fly pretty low to scan it reliably. So there's always the danger of colliding with a rooftop. Yay, gotta love it when that happens. And it's sure not filling up very fast. I mean, how big of an area are they gonna have me search? The entire red part of the map? I don't... God, I hope not. That's freaking huge. I'm already halfway there and I'm leaving the infected area, so do a 360. Not an Xbox 360, so... <clears throat> though, those suck. PS3 for the win. Yay! And Wii U. Even though Wii U kinda sucks right now. It's gonna get better. I hope. 
Almost there. Let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. Scanning. Quite a quick scan. Scan complete. Is it a good one? Gotcha. Sweet. Okay, guess we need to get out now. So I'll just do that with a complete disregard for my safety and that of the people below. And damn, helicopter almost squashed him. All right, buddy. This will only hurt a moment. Or it's not gonna hurt at all. Which is the lie the nurses always tell you when you go and get your flu shots and stuff when you're a kid. I remember hating having to get shots when I was a kid. They're like, oh, don't worry, it's not gonna hurt. But then they jam the thing into your arm and it hurts like a he like hell. I don't like getting shots and th that is one of the reasons why my philosophy regarding holiday locations is never go to a country that requires you to get multiple like injections before you even go there so don't expect to ever see me in Africa or the Middle East or South America hell pretty much anything south of the equator apart from maybe Australia do you need injections to go on a vacation to Australia? I know there's plenty of venomous crap down there. I mean, everything in Australia is trying to kill you. But I'm pretty sure the chances of getting like malaria or yellow fever or stuff like that are pretty low in Australia. Because it's surprisingly western for a southeastern part of the world continent. And yeah, we're being squashed. Like a football player, but not anymore. Is that Alex? What happened? It looks weird. Oh, cool. Guess now that we're cured, we get a crap ton of new powers. We get Blade, and we get Armor. And Blade is pretty much the best weapon you get, and Armor... Pretty much makes it so you don't die nearly as easily. Let's see, do I have anything to try Blade out on? Oh yeah, here we have a tank, I think. Blade is a powerful and deadly cutting and thrusting weapon. That's what she said. Perfect for slicing and swiping away at armor and infected hide and stuff. Armor reduces the damage you take, but you can't glide or vault over objects anymore. So it kind of sucks, but you're not you really don't need to put on your armor if you're traversing the city. And look at the blade just cut through that tank. Blade is... Just... Way too good in this game. Really, once you get blade, you will never have to use the claws or the hammer fists again. Because the blade is pretty much a combination of both. Fast and... Great damage like the claws. Even better damage. And it rips through tanks easily, which is pretty much the only thing the hammer fist is good for. So, once you get Blade, you will pretty much never ever use Claws or Hammer Fist again. You'll still use Whip Fist because the Blade doesn't have range like the Whip Fist. And you might use Muscle Mass, even though I think I've only used that like once. So yeah, you'll pretty much be using Blade and Whip Fist for the majority of the game. Do I have any neat new upgrades? I don't have enough for the health boost max, I kind of want to get that. Uh, I really don't give a crap about these moves, because the majority of them is like for unarmed combat, and I never ever do that anyway, now that I'm no longer forced to do it. Consume boost max is slightly out of my price range as well. Uh, you get those by going to military bases and absorbing certain people, but I really don't care about using weapons better because when have I ever picked up a gun and used it? That's right, when I didn't have any powers. But that problem's gone, so I don't need a gun anymore. So we're just gonna go and run to the next mission and I have no idea why I'm still wearing the armor. Because it really inhibits my movement. Can't glide, can't jump over cars anymore, though he does just knock him out of the way. Like it's no big deal. Like, oh, da, da, da. oh car, oh. There we go, car out of the way. And jump cut. Because nothing interesting happened. 
And it saves me like four minutes of talking. So yeah, crap, uh, didn't break it quick enough. Oh well, let's see how this thing... Yep, Blade kills those guys very easily. Jeez, Blade is a game breaker. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't glide. Oh well, here we are. Next mission, get rid of the blade. Get rid of the creepy looking armor. All right. Oh, what? By the Tendril Barrage Devastator. That thing had better not be wicked expensive. Tendril Barrage, here it is. Okay, only 54,000, that's not all that much. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Prototype. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.